Welcome to Scrap News. I'm Dartfrog, and today we'll go over the just released Devlog 22. We've got a lot of amazing stuff ahead of us, so let's dig right into it. And speaking of digging, the first thing in the post is, yup, digging. And like, actual digging, it seems. The new glowing drills that we got to see last time around seem to be able to actually carve out terrain. We didn't get to know if it will affect all terrain or only specific areas, but it looks really cool and exciting nevertheless. I would however assume it's only for specific areas, otherwise, what would you do if someone dug under a warehouse for example? Additionally, last year Axelot replied to my question saying that terraforming will at most be possible in just specific areas. When digging deep underground, you'll be able to find these gigantic buildings. They might be mine shafts or how Vaidani suggested in my Discord server, propane stations. The underground will have many underground biomes. There are also concept drawings of this fright battery thing, but it doesn't seem to be mentioned in writing anywhere. Anyway, to explore all the cave systems and random mining facilities, you're gonna need a decent mine vehicle. And the steel wheels are gonna help with that tremendously. Today, we're getting a better look at them than last time, and just look at those animations! So satisfying! Right now, they are powered by chemicals, however Axel said they are still working on balancing them. It seems like we're also gonna be able to change the color of the goo, which is incredibly cool. The underground isn't without its threats, however. The KB bots that were teased last devlog are just waiting to attack you and your precious mining vehicle. They're gonna be coming into great numbers, and other than just attacking you, they will also eat away at your vehicle's resources, such as fuel or batteries, or even the vehicle itself. They kinda remind me of Minecraft Silverfish, actually. And speaking of batteries, in Chapter 2 we're gonna get a new battery generator. You can make batteries by either spinning the crank with a gas engine, or even just with your hammer. This is great, as right now batteries aren't automatable. Something that I'm personally really excited for are signs. They're gonna be free sized and you're going to be able to input any text in them. They're gonna be perfect for servers just like Pixel's Adam server or the upcoming survival server. And something I've been waiting for for a really long time. Scalable wedges. They are confirmed to be included in the next chapter, but right now they aren't quite figured out yet in survival mode. Also, there is something really weird going on here with the dragging. Like, the arrow doesn't seem to be making much sense. I'm not sure what's going on here though, to be fair. Similarly to Plasma Drill, we're also going to be getting a very similar Plasma Soul Blade. It's gonna cut through trees like it's nothing and even be able to cut through crystal rocks. We got to see concept arts of two NPCs we'll interact with in Chapter 2. We actually most likely know who the bad guy is, actually. No idea about the baby walk though, but it's so incredibly adorable. And to top it all off, we got to see a new garment set, a fancy tuxedo. I asked Axelot on Twitter if there are any rough percentage estimations for Chapter 2 completion right now, but as of writing this, I did not get any response yet. If you want to discuss the dead block with other people, I recommend doing so on the Square Mechanics subreddit, the link is in the description, or in the comments down below. Subscribe so you don't miss the next Scrap episode, and I hope to see you in another one. Bye!